Hey, everybody, it's Greg, and it's another edition of Unbreakable, the podcast. Saturday, February the 3rd. Listen, buddy, today, 65 years ago today, is the day the music died. Buddy was killed in the pitch. I was there, 65 years. Great, great songwriter, artist. And think about it. He was only 22 freaking years old. 22 years old when he died. 22. He was still a kid. He had so much in life to go and so much of uh, music. I mean, listen to the music that he, that he made. At such a young age, at least we have that, right? But you could fully imagine what he would have done in 65 years. You know, when you think about it, there are still some artists out there. Buddy Holly, if he were living, would have been 87 years old. And there are still some artists who are recording and even touring at 87. You look at Willie Nelson, right? Um, so it's conceivable that Buddy Holly could have still been out there making music, or at least writing songs or producing. Uh, yeah, the thing was, he should have never been on that airplane. Should have never been on that airplane. He hated the winter tour he was on. Uh, didn't want to go from town to town and by bus. Decided to take a Plane to the next gig, plane crash. It's a shame that we forget who died with it. You know, everybody says the baby music died. Well, it's true. Buddy Hall, but uh, Richie Havens, Richie Valens, sorry, not Richie Havens, Richie Valens died with him, La Bamba. And, uh, the big Bob, he died too. So uh, it is sad. 65 years ago, people still remember Buddy Hall. Here's the thing about Buddy Hall. Not only did he influence so many future artists, from the Beatles to Linda Bronson, recorded uh, a few Buddy Hall songs. Um, this goes on. Buddy Hall is probably the one who was, who was written about more than anybody. Think of the Bear Kid Pie, Don McLean. That song was about Buddy Holly, the day the music died, right? So uh, even though he was uh, only 22, and uh, Buddy Holly has been born a long, long time, 65 years, um, he still had an influence over the people and the music. So, uh, you know, yesterday was Groundhog Day, and I saw a pretty co cool commercial on TV last night. It, uh, the guy, you remember, if you, if you ever see the movie Groundhog Day, there was a tall, thin guy, needle nose, and he played the insurance guy who uh, claimed that he knew Bill Murray back in high school. And then with each uh, recurring uh, sequence, uh, he goes up to Bill Murray and he tries to sell him insurance and uh, he's telling Bill Murray, watch that step, it's a doozy. And uh, right before Murray goes and goes to the Gobbler's Knob and sees the uh, groundhog. So, uh, well, that guy, he's in a commercial for Lay's Potato Chips. And the premise is that sort of like a groundhog day thing. He goes up to the counter of the supermarket, the store, and the uh, the checker says to him uh, something about loving Lay's potato chips. I bet you do. He could say that again, and she does. It's the same thing, and it's the same thing. Every commercial after that is the same thing. Different bag of potato chips, plain sour cream, barbecue. She always gives the same answer, and all of a sudden. This guy is thinking, this sounds kind of familiar. Sounds sort of brown hush. 
Groundhog is. Mary Sue. Da, 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 da. Peggy. Uh, Peggy Sue. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway. <laughs> so, all right, you see this? I'm all decked down in my Phillies gear today. I look pretty good. But I wish there was a ball game today. Damn it. We missed football this weekend, as I said. The first weekend without football in five months. Tomorrow they have that stupid Pro Bowl crap one. What are they doing in there? Are they throwing lawn darts? Or playing board ball? I don't even think. But I miss baseball. Now next weekend will be Super Bowl, of course. But uh, I miss baseball. And uh, I, I got something for you guys. These are the people that are starting to think baseball. These are the up-to-date odds of uh, who's going to win the World Series this year. Um, I need to put my glasses on for this because that I can't see. What happens when you're 108 years old? All right, here we go. So, you know what? The favorite to win the World Series, but these odds are from, I have a bunch of them here. Hey, how about you? Uh, Try to eat the mic? Hey, Try to get the odds here. All right, here it is. Well, I just lost All right, here it is. Uh, odds to win the world soon. Ready for this? Just in case you uh, are thinking of getting a little trip down. DraftKings. The favorite to win the World Series this year are the Dodgers, plus 360. Well, that's no surprise, right? They got Otani, they got Glass down. I mean, you know, they're favorite to win. Uh, I don't know if I like the Dodgers, though. They got to prove to me that they can do it. Yeah, they're going to get Walker Buehler back. They have, they know they have a good team. You think about Freddie Freeman, Mickey Betts. I didn't order to him, huh? What a baddie baby. Dad baby again. Well, uh, I'm not totally sold on the Dodgers. I think they're in the Midwest. And how could they not? But uh, as far as winning the World Series, yeah, we'll see. The Braves. Atlanta is plus 500. 500. Uh, the Braves is some kind of good team. Don't get me wrong. Um, somehow, some way, until they get, get by my Phillies in the playoffs, no thanks. Uh, Houston, cheating past, cheating, cheating, evil, 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 Astros, uh, plus 800, plus 800. Yeah, if you believe in Houston. Now, look at the Yankees. Of course, the Yankees and the Dodgers are always going to get, uh, Hyped up odds because they're the Yankees and the Dodgers. Let's face it, right? But look at this. Yankees got Juan Soto plus 1,000. So if you believe in the Yankees, if you put $100 on the Yankees to win the World Series, 1,000 to 1. Texas won last year plus 1,200. Yeah, I mean, usually it's really hard. Or a team to repeat in any That's why I think what Kansas City is doing is pretty remarkable this year. Just the fact that they win the Super Bowl again. Really, really hard for a team to repeat because other teams are gutting for you. You may not be as hungry to win a title. There's so many reasons. When you win a title, players flock to other teams, coaches, men. It's really, really an impressive run when you think about it for the Chiefs. Uh, so, Texas is 1,200 to one. Baltimore is 1,300. Yeah, you know, Baltimore just got Corbin Burns this week at the ace pitcher for Milwaukee. I like Baltimore. I think Baltimore is going to, I don't know, I'm not convinced about the Yankees. I think Baltimore is going to win. American League East again. And I think Baltimore may win 
the American League and get into the World Series. I'm just saying. And then we come to my Phillies. And my Phillies are plus 1,500 to win the World Series. Finally. Finally. Uh, you know what? Phillies were in the World Series two years ago. They were one game away from getting into the World Series last year. Anything can happen, right? Seattle is 2,200. So, in, so are the Blue Jays and so are the Twins and so on and so forth. Down the line, in fact, your longest odds in baseball this year are the Colorado Rangers. How about that? 25,000 to 25,000. You put $100 on the Rockies, you win 25,000 bucks. How about those? Odds? Now, will it happen? Probably not, but uh, I'm just saying, right? Anyway, so we're in the new baseball part to the basketball is cool. Now, though, with Joel and beat out, who knows what's going to happen with him. He's going to come back. What's going to happen to the Sixers? Hockey is okay. Uh, they have their all-star game today. And then they'll be back going. Um, but there's nothing like baseball because baseball, my friends, is springtime and summertime. Baseball means warm sunshine, having a cold beer on a hot day, either going to the ball game or watching it on TV every night, right? Or listening it to listening to the volume on your radio while you're in the car or you're sitting out on the deck on a long, warm summer's night. That's baseball. Little league baseball, seeing the kids playing out in the fields, high school baseball. There's nothing like it, right? And it's coming up. So we're all ready for baseball spring trading. How many people are heading down to Florida to see spring trading this year? Yeah. Spring trading will be opening up in less than two weeks. So we'll get it. We are definitely getting it. Well, I think that's about all we're going to talk about today. And for the week. So I will be off tomorrow because on Sundays, you know, even God rested on Sundays. So. Uh, I will be back next week, though, on Monday. Don't forget, next week is going to be a busy week because we're going to talk about the Super Bowl more and more and more. And I'm uh, giving my thoughts about who I think is going to win the Super Bowl and any, uh, any prop bets that we might see that are good. And uh, there's always talking about the Eagles. The, the Eagles are, you know what? The Eagles are 365 days a year, 24 7. Uh, seven uh, the Eagles, Eagles, Eagles. Sometimes, you know what? I love the Eagles, but sometimes I get sick and tired of hearing about the Eagles on the sports radio, you know? I, it's Eagles, 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 right? That's why it's kind of refreshing to talk Phillies baseball, right? And we'll, we'll be talking more about that as the Days go by. Don't forget, next week, next Wednesday, we're going to be talking about one, another classic TV show. And uh, I love doing this. We've talked about the Beverly Hillbillies and Green Acres and the Adams family. If you want to see any old uh, podcast editions, episodes, uh, check them out here on YouTube, okay? But... Uh, yeah, that's a lot of fun. I, I, I have fun talking about it because I remember all this watching the ads, you know, watching the Beverly Hillbillies, you know, just talking about the shows and the characters. And it's, it's a lot of fun. So we'll see who we're going to talk about next Wednesday. So I hope you tune in. Hope you tune in uh, one day to watch the show. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much for subscribing. I think I'm up to 26 subscribers now. That's great. I'm getting there. No bad little, no bad little. 
you know, I got to tell you this. I didn't tell you this before, but I'm telling you now. When I first started doing this podcast, oh, maybe about 225 episodes ago, I'm not going to say this, but I asked a famous person to come on with me and talk. I'll give you a hint. It's a shit. And this famous person came up with, me, with a book. And I said, uh, well, uh, why don't you come on and let's talk about the book. Let's put about the book and we'll just chit chat. Like we're just sitting on the deck in the bathroom in the deck, having a poultry, and we'll, let's just talk. We'll talk about your career. We'll talk about all kinds of things, right? Well, you know, the answer was, I'm sorry, we just don't have enough followers. We just don't have enough subscribers. Yeah, to make it worth my, my time, you're going to need 1,000 people subscribing to you. I'm like, what the hell? I, I, I'm lucky to get 10. So you know what? I keep, I, you and I have fun just talking every day but Sunday, right? We talk about anything. We talk about Amelia Earhart this week. We talk about all kinds of that. So, uh, you know, if I ever get that high point, I'll ask this person again to come on. And uh, if she does, uh, let me know who it is, you know? But how about them apples, as they said? Eh? 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 They don't do it because you don't have a thousand subscribers. Anyway. That's okay. That's okay. So everybody have a good day. Uh, it's you know what? There's something very foreign in this bad little person. It's called the sun. Yeah. Ooh, the sunshine is up there. Really. Everybody on Facebook. Happy Halloween. Take care. Mm -hmm. That's it. Tell me about it. Tell me. Bye.